Tevye here. Um, I just want to give you an overview of how Starfish Reviews works. So on this side we're going to have our custom post type. So you find this under all funnels and you can do add new. Um, and this is what a funnel looks like. Right here is your permalink. So this is where the funnel is going to be at. So that's where I'm at right here on this side of the screen so you can see you know, how things correlate. And just like a post or a page you can post, publish it or update it, things like that. The next field is your funnel logo, and the logo just appears up here at the top of the funnel. So if you want to display a logo to help remind people, then you can display that at the top there. Um, now we get into our funnel uh, settings, and as you can see here, it's set to would you recommend us, so that's what displays right here, and then they can give their answer yes or no, and we have different um, button styles that you can select from. So you can do happy smiley, you can do thumbs up and thumbs down, um, or these circle ones. So let's go ahead and change it so we can see something different. And then we have our funnel short code right here. And what that is, is if you want to embed this funnel inside a different page or post or something uh, on WordPress, then you can do that. You don't have to just use the, the funnel URL here to, to send that out to uh, your clients or um, your clients clients if you're managing this for somebody else. Next is the positive response. So this is the result when we click here. So we click on positive and it says okay please leave us a helpful review. Now in this case as you can see right here the auto redirect is set to three seconds. So it waited three seconds and now it's taking me to the destination which is this field right here. Um, which is Facebook is not actually set up for an actual uh, review destination right now. So I'm going to change this one here to zero because I don't want it to auto redirect. Um, I want it to wait on me. And then what I will do is go ahead and update it real fast and refresh over here so you guys can see what that looks like now. Okay, so now that we've refreshed, you can see over here we got the smiley face and the sad face. So if I click the smiley face, then it's going to go ahead and show us what's going on there. So we can compare now. Right here you can see we've got just a little HTML code to show H3 header. Excellent. Please rate us five stars. And then on the next part, dot, 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 and leave a helpful review. And then if they click submit review, then it will take them to this review destination. And again, I don't have a proper destination put in here. Could do. Um, and that would that would work for anybody logged into Facebook. We have a whole article about how to do a proper Facebook link. So anyway, that's that'll work for now. Now one of our big features that a lot of people request and that we have added is to have multiple destinations. So right now it's just one destination. It's only going to send them to this uh, location if they click the submit review button right here. What we've added is a multiple destinations where they can they can add multiple places to go. So for example, we can say, well, I want to send them to Google and I'm going to just do google.com. I'm not going to do the actual destination, but you would want to do your actual leave us a review option. We could do another one for Facebook. Um, and you can do more than that. You can just keep clicking this plus sign and add more and more if you want to. Now let's go ahead and save that so we can see how that looks on the front end. Okay, so now if we click the happy face. Now we've got two destinations where they can leave it and maybe you'd want to change what that says instead of and leave a help for review say you know leave us a review on one of the following sites or something like that. Uh, but then if they select that then it's going to take them to that destination that we set here in our destination set. So here we are on the starfish reviews. So the next section is about um, negative responses. So that's when somebody clicks the red icon, um, what's going to happen there. So right now you can see, we're sorry we didn't meet your expectations. How can we do better in the future? That's right here. And then there's a space for them to leave their feedback. But let's say you want to ask them for their name and email so you can follow up and do better. Well, you can just check which options you want and also which ones are required. So if you want to require them to enter a valid email address, you can just do that like that. So let's go ahead and update once again and we'll refresh once again so we can get the updated version here. 
And you can see how that works. Now if we click this, let's say the same text here and their review, but now I've got these fields for name, email, and phone number, and the email one is required. Now the next field is the email feedback. So this is where email is sent to. When they submit this form over here, that's where it'll be sent to. The default is admin email, this short code here, which basically sends it to whatever is your um, admin email under your WordPress dashboard settings under the general tab. Um, so right now that's where it's going to be set. But if I want it to be sent to me or to me and my client or whatever, I can list those emails out here with commas between them. The submit button is just this button here. So if I don't want it to say send feedback, I can say something like that. And it will change that button to match. And then finally is our thank you message. And that's what appears after this is submitted right here. So help at Starfish Reviews. So now I'm going to go ahead and... Um, send my feedback right now we'll look at what happens to that feedback after it's submitted here in just a minute but for right now that shows you how that process works now I want to show you one more feature here and that is this disable review gating so Google and certain other review places they say you're not allowed to discourage negative reviews or only encourage the positive reviews so what that means is we need to still allow people who click the negative one to go ahead and leave a negative review if they want to. So if you go ahead and click this, then you can. There's it gives you one more setting, and let's go ahead and update this, and then we can see how that affects our funnel over here on the front end. Okay, so now if we do negative review, we can uh, fill this out again. A minute this time, now you'll see, thanks for your feedback, we'll review it and work to improve. Then it still has whatever text is here, leave a public review, and it still has those same destinations um, that we set up here um, for our multiple destinations. Or if it was a single destination, it would just have a button um, for them to continue. So they can, at this point, go ahead and still go through and leave a review. So. It makes it compliant with Google's policy as well as some other platforms policy. That's up to you to research and make sure you know which ones that needs to be applied on or just apply it on all of them if you want to be safe. Um, so that's how our funnels work. Now I'll note one thing while we're at the bottom here is we have this starfish help button. You can click on that in order to um, get access to some of our help docs and things like that as well as to contact us. So if you click it, it just pops up like this. There's some suggested uh, help docs, and you can search through them as well. And if you can't find what you need, then go ahead and click the Get in Touch, and you'll be able to um, email us and get started working with us. So now I want to review one more part, and that is the reviews. And basically, this is the feedback. So you'll see my, my feedback right here that I just entered, that negative feedback. Um, it's got my email in there, um, it's negative feedback, and here's the message. So you can review what, what was sent, and you can also get these nice overview stats that show you how much your feedback has been positive, how much has been negative, stuff like that. So this negative feedback will be sent to whatever email addresses are put into the funnel, but it's also here if you need to review it later. And you can do things like sorting uh, by month, um, or only show a specific funnel. So that funnel I was working on was test funnel. Uh, so I can filter by that and it'll give me updated stats and updates down here. You can see it also records positive ones and it even records what the destination was if it's a multiple destination funnel. So yes is when it was a single destination funnel and they said yes and then they went to the single destination. Um, this one is when it was a multiple destination funnel and it had and they selected the Facebook option and then proceeded on. So hopefully that all makes sense and is helpful to you to see how Starfish Reviews works. Um, we're really excited about this plugin and we've got lots of people using it and they love using it. It's resulting in great reviews for them on their various social media properties and stuff like that. Um, makes them look really great, it helps them get better SEO and all kinds of awesome stuff. So we hope you'll see the value in it and enjoy it and be able to use Starfish Reviews to help your business or to resell to your clients as kind of a, a review marketing or a reputation management upgrade.